Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome, welcome to my inspirational Ingrid channel. Happy Thursday people, I hope you're all keeping well and it's nearly the weekend, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, the word I have for you today is you are marvellous in his eyes. You are marvellous in his eyes. Now, it's not actually really talking about you, what I mean is the scripture. The scripture is actually talking about Jesus. But the reason why it's going to be about you is we'll wait for it later on. But let's get to the scripture first. Come along. So in Psalms chapter 118, verses 22 to 23, it actually says, The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvellous in our eyes. You see, Jesus was rejected. He came to his own and they rejected him. But they did not realise that he was not just any stone. He was in fact the cornerstone. And that's why it was so marvellous in our eyes. Because when it was revealed to us who he was, that's how amazing he was. And that's how awesome God was. Because God didn't reveal him straight away. He came as a little baby as a little child and then grew up as man, as flesh and came amongst us and spread the word and spread the gospel. Yeah? And so the reason why I said you are marvellous in his eyes is because if I go back again for all, the, for all the Psalms that I've been talking about, when I said yesterday that God is the maker of heaven and earth, and he's also the creator of us. So we are made in his own image. And therefore, we are marvellous in his eyes. We are marvellous because we are his creation. And that's why we are marvellous in his eyes. But guess what? There's something else added. Just as Jesus was rejected by his own, any of you that are out there that have been rejected by your own, you are actually the cornerstone. You are actually the cornerstone because what they rejected, God has taken up to make the cornerstone. So you are marvellous in his sight and you are marvellous in his eyes. Amen to that family. So I hope you've enjoyed the word for today and I hope you have another blessed day. So take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Until next time. Bye.